And now, Thundering Plains! Or, How the Wildlife Conservation Society Saved the Bison, as interpreted by sock puppets. Is this gonna be pretty? Shh, I don't wanna miss my cue. Come on, guys. Are you ready? Oh, sorry. 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 I'm Excuse sorry. Me. Parking was just all Ready. Then let's begin. Long ago, the bison thundered across the western plains in the tens of millions. That's a lot of buffalo. Bison. Same thing. Actually, they're not. You see, buffalo are found in other parts of the world, and that name was commonly, if inaccurately, given to... Nerd! Buffer bison were an intrinsic part of the plains ecosystem. The pounding of their hooves tilled the soil, preventing erosion. Stomp, 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 stomp. Bison trimmed grass to the right height for birds and prairie dogs to make homes. And their droppings fertilized the soil. Not with everyone watching. But during the late 19th century, the bison were almost totally exterminated as more and more settlers went west on the railroad. Hey, move it, bison! I'm building me a log cabin! Sometimes bison by the hundreds were driven off cliffs. Thunder, 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 thunder. <laughs> Thunder? Fall, 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 fall! Professional sock puppet, do not attempt. Scene 32, action. And more and more bison were hunted. They were easily shot with rifles. was great. Where'd you learn to do that? Did you like that? I uh -huh. thought that was pretty good. I went to Juilliard. Really? <laughs> yes. By the turn of the century, the wild bison population had declined from 50 million to fewer than a thousand. Bison in the wild, it seemed, were doomed. Where is everybody? Come on, guys. This isn't funny. <laughs> it seemed that the bison would soon be extinct in the wild, and that great song of the American West... Home on the range. Bison! Buffaloes are distant relations! Nerd. Nerd! That classic song risked being lost in the sands of time. Like those other great now forgotten standards, I gave my love a woolly mammoth and the dosy -si dodo. But hope came in the form of a man named William Hornaday, General Director of the Wildlife Conservation Society. In December of 1906, he created the American Bison Society at the Bronx Zoo, with help from such luminaries as President Teddy Roosevelt. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Wrong Roosevelt! Oh. Bully! Hornaday used the population of bison at the Bronx Zoo to start a breeding program. What's your sign? And in 1907, the first 15 bison were moved from the Bronx. <laughs> Going through Manhattan's Grand Central Station. Whoa all the way to a reserve in Oklahoma. Wow, it does grow high as an elephant's eye. The program was so successful that in 1935, the American Bison Society ended because the bison were no longer in danger of dying out. Yay! And many of the bison living in the West today are descendants of those original Bronx bison. Howdy, partner. Yet even today, challenges remain. Out of half a million bison in America, only 20,000 are truly wild. Toga! Toga! No, not that kind of wild! 
wild, as in living in the wild. Oh, this is getting confusing. And so, as the bison thunder their way into the 21st century, the Wildlife Conservation Society is working with individuals and programs around the country to increase the wild bison population, so they may once again roam free, the symbol of the American West. Symbol available on t-shirts, mugs, bumper stickers, and those little squashed pennies, not to mention figurines, each numbered by hand. No thanks. I'll buy you some later. Get it? Bison? Later? Oh, yeah! Okay. Okay. I'm done. Do you think we ought to okay. thunder or something? Thunder. 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 Thunder.